Hello and welcome to the Yarn Waffle podcast YouTube channel. Um, my name is Liz and I am the host of the Yarn Waffle podcast but this video is a little bit different. It should only just be a shorter video but I wanted to come in and have a little chat about spinning. Uh, you may, if you've been following this channel for a while, you may have noticed over the past year the spinning content has sort of ramped up quite a lot. So much now that I have a new series on this channel where I spin intentionally for patterns that I pick pick the pattern and then I spin the yarn intentionally for them. Each episode follows a project from start to finish. So picking the pattern, picking the fluff, spinning the fibre and knitting the finished thing. And you get to see the whole thing for episode and hopefully there should be an episode going up every month. That's by the by. What I wanted to talk to you about is the fact that it t today is actually my spinning birthday. I am one. One today. I've been a spinner for one year today. And so um, I wanted to celebrate and I wanted to chat a little bit about spinning and I wanted to give you guys, or one of you guys, a present. I wanted to give you, uh, one of you, the gift of learning to spin. And so I purchased this. So I purchased this which is a learn to spin kit this is very similar to the kit that i um learned to spin with it is a drop spindle and fluff and instructions i will show you so yeah in the box you get your instructions and you get a drop spindle and you get all these all these lovely lovely colours of fluff. This is a bit nicer than the kit that I learned with but I thought you guys deserve a treat. So in order to be in with a chance of winning this Learn to Kit box, um, you just need to be a subscriber to this channel and leave a comment on this video telling me why you want to learn to spin, if you want to learn to spin, and why you want this Learn to Spin kit if you already know how to spin. I'm guessing you probably want to teach a friend, but just tell me anyway. <laughs> um, I'm happy to post it worldwide, so yeah, please leave a comment. Um, and yeah, so I'm... Today, as I said, is my spinning birthday. I have been spinning for a year and I have been spinning, I have spun every single day of that year. From learning to spin, from beginning to learn to spin, I decided that I would spin for a little bit every day to um, try and get the gist of it, try and get it to sink in because I, it did, it certainly did not come naturally to me. And so that's what I did, whether it was for five, ten minutes, an hour, um, I just practiced with my drop spindle until it started to gel. So yeah, I learned to spin on a drop spindle and from there I got an um, electric eel wheel nano, which is a little um, portable electric spinning wheel. So I'm having cat drama. If you could... There is, it's, to this to this video hopefully won't be a long video, but it has taken a long time to film. Um, yeah, so my electric ear wheel is called Ernie, and um, he was the wheel that I properly learned to spin on. I absolutely love him. I um, really would quite like the larger version, the electric ear wheel six. Just to eat, maybe just to have to play with. I don't really need it. Really, really, really want it. But no, I don't. I don't need. I don't need another wheel. I don't need another wheel. Um, but yeah, from there I got my two big wheels. You can just see my Ashwood Kiwi behind me, which is my uh, brand new wheel. I bought this new, and I have a second-hand wheel as well, which you can't see, but I will put in some pictures which is Mary, my Ashwood Traveller, and sorry, my Kiwi is called Joyce. I have no idea why she's called Joyce. Um, that was just the name she wanted, and I'm not going to argue with her. Um, Mary came with the name Mary because that was the name of her original owner's grandma, and it was named after her. So yeah, I have Ernie, Mary, and Joyce. They are my wheels. 
Um, I... I'm sorry if you can hear Cat crying. I've had to shut Jax out because he wouldn't behave. Um, so yeah, so I have spun every day for a year and I do mean every day. Some day, times it's just for five minutes. I might sort of be sitting there thinking, oh, I'm doing any spinning today and I'll just sit down for five minutes while I'm waiting for something to cook. Um, but I always have a project on at the wheels. I have a rule that there should always be, if you take a bobbin off, if I take a bobbin off the wheel, I put a new bobbin ready for a new project on straight away. I never leave it without a bobbin on because that in my head would be mean that it would almost like be like a stopping point. I'd, I'd rather have a comma than a stopping point. So therefore I always, as soon as I finish the project, I put a new bobbin on the wheel. And then even if I don't start a new project right away, it's there ready to go as soon as I find that pretty braid of fibre that I want to play with next. And because I have three wheels, there's usually a project on one of them. And if I'm sat watching telly, I can be using my Nano, um, or I can sit with one of the girls in a um, spinning corner, or spinning half of a room as it is now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, I'm going to put in some pictures of some handspun that I have made over the years. I did start off fairly on the dodgy side with my handspun, I must admit. I didn't have too many big disasters, but there was general sort of thick and thin and a bit clunky. And I'd also did an awful lot of two ply to start with. I'm very much on a, a three ply kick at the moment, as fine as possible. If I can three ply, if I get a three ply fingering weight yarn, that is my sweet spot at the moment. That's where I'm aiming for. Um, yeah, so I tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to shut up and I am going to put in a collection of pictures of hand spun that I have made and things that I have made with hand spun and just some nice spinning, like a nice spinning montage. I'll put it all together and put it to some music and then I will chat to you a bit at the end. So I'll see you in a bit.
joining me for this little um, spinning anniversary video. I'm gonna go and spin. Now I've got the next bobbin of this to spin up next. This is some fibre I'm spinning for an upcoming episode of Spin It To Knit and it's the first one that's gonna feature my, er, my little Ernie, the Nano. So yeah, I'm gonna go and spin and leave me a comment if you want to... Sorry, I won't tap on that. Don't forget to leave me a comment and make sure you're a subscriber if you want to be in with a chance of winning this. And I will see you on the podcast very soon and the Spinternet episodes go up on the last Friday of every month. Till then, see you soon. Goodbye my friends.